public health person, I, I feel compelled to underscore just what an enormous public health problem bullying is for young people and, and a problem that uh, can stick with individuals, uh, frankly, throughout their whole lives. Uh, there's been a tremendous amount of research on bullying, the effects that it has on victims, and, and even on the bullies themselves. And um, just in terms of, of the, how broadly this, uh, young people are affected by this, most recent data show that 20% of high school students report being a victim of bullying within the past 12 months. Um, and 16% say uh, that that has occurred uh, online in some sort of online um, manner. So th this affects a great deal of young people in, in important ways. We know that victims are at increased risk for problems with anxiety, uh, depression, uh, severe emotional distress, um, and in, of course in the most severe uh, circumstances, even suicide uh, risk increase. Um, there's also, of course, the obvious increased risk for youth violence uh, uh, to result as, as, uh, from bullying. We found out that between 20 and 90 percent of children experience some form of bullying over their lifetime. Uh, just using what we do on a daily basis, we serve about 3,000 young people a day, which means if you use the low end of that equation, the 20 percent, that means about 600 of those 3,000 children stand a chance on being bullied. That's the equivalent of the entire population of one of Howard County's elementary schools. That's uh, pretty telling in a lot of ways. In a speech at a conference at the, uh, about the new metropolitan future at the University of California, James Rouse, the founder of Columbia, said, I believe that the ultimate test of civilization is whether or not it contributes to the growth, improvement of mankind, and does it lift uplift, inspire, stimulate, and develop the best in man. There really can be no other right purpose of community except to provide an environment and an opportunity to develop better people. Later in that same speech, Rouse continued, we need a, a new attitude among public officials, the conviction that uh, we can make our communities into whatever we really want them to be, that we are not helpless victims before the flood of growth, but part of a living, growing, dynamic society which has the resources if it only had will to control its destiny.